You are with us, O oh God. We magnify Jehovah. Jehovah Shama, the Lord that is with us. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord that is our peace and prosperity. We magnify you, Jesus. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We glorify that name. Lord, you have been exalted and given a name that is above every other name. And we confess and we believe your promise that every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You've redeemed us from the curse. You became a curse for us, Lord, so that we might receive the blessing of Abraham. We glorify you. We praise you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you. Praise God. The Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. You know, isn't it awesome that because of the blood of Jesus, we can stand before our Heavenly Father without a sense of condemnation? You know, in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19, it says, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. And it also says in Hebrews 4, 16, that we can come boldly unto the throne of grace through which we can obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The blood of Jesus has brought us to this place where we can stand before our Heavenly Father. Aren't you thankful for the blood of Jesus? You know, when Jesus died on the cross, He made a covenant with us, an everlasting covenant that can never be broken. And today we're going to start singing and praising God and saying, thank you for the covenant that you made with us. That's why we can stand like this before God because of what Jesus did. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him and give Him our highest praise. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here. We believe that you will be encouraged and ministered to. And thank God that God has made a covenant with us. And God's, through the blood of Jesus, we can stand boldly before our Father. That's why we can come and we can sing songs of praise before Him. Because He has made a covenant with us to stand before Him. And if you need help today, come to that throne of grace and say, Father, I'm coming to you, believing that you are my help in time of need. We pray you'll be ministered and blessed. Hallelujah. Let's rejoice in him. It's all about Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
free to worship the Lord. Let's continue to praise Him. You know that scripture that we read earlier, Hebrews 4.16, that says to come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy 
and find grace to help in time of need. This next song we're going to say, I boldly approach my God. And we know the reason we can come before Him is because of the blood of Jesus. So let's sing this song and say, thank you, Father. I'm free to worship you because of your blood. Hallelujah. Let's continue to praise Him.
the chains set me free. for your spirit that is a spirit of freedom he whom the sun sets free is free indeed no longer to be bound thank you God that you have brought us to a place of freedom on the inside you've broken the chains of sin sickness and poverty and father we celebrate your freedom God we're so thankful to you Lord that we can stand freely because of the blood of Jesus we worship you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All we praise is you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Thank you, God. you 
Jesus. Thank you for taking all our sins. Thank you for taking all our sickness, Father. Oh, we worship you, Father. You're worthy of all praise. Oh, Jesus, he's so amazing, isn't he? When you get to know who the Lord is, you know, don't just know about him, but you know him from the bottom of your heart. You begin to see how awesome he is. The things that he does, more than you can ask or think, he's able to do in your life when you begin to know him. This is what eternal life means. To know who God is and know his son Jesus. Have a personal relationship with him. That's why he came for us. To bring us into the relationship of a son. And this next song we're going to sing is from Isaiah 53. If you read that chapter 3 through 5, it talks about how Jesus was despised and he was rejected. It says that he was a man of sorrows, a man who was acquainted with grief. And this was when he was hanging on the cross. You know, Jesus was a beautiful man when he came to this earth. As a man, physical being, he was beautiful. But when he hung on that cross, he was not even recognizable as a man. Because this verse says that he has borne our griefs, he has carried our sorrows, and we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. That's what Jesus was carrying on the cross. The sickness of this world. That's why we have this promise that we can claim and say, by his stripes we are healed. Because he came and he took the curse that came through the fall of Adam. When Adam sinned, the rest of the generation became sinners. And the only way God could redeem mankind was by sending a perfect lamb. He sent his son Jesus to carry all that curse that came upon mankind. And when he carried all our sorrow, he carried our griefs, he was carrying the curse on himself. And in exchange, he gave us the blessing, the blessing of healing. It's so good to know that healing and health belongs in our blessing. So we're going to sing this song, You Were Wounded for My Transgressions. And as we sing this song, we believe that you're set free in your body. Even those of you watching us, as we're singing this, claim this promise today and say, Thank you, Lord, that you were wounded for my transgressions. Because you carried my curse so that I can receive healing. Whatever sickness it might be, Jesus has carried it on his body. He was broken for this reason, to give us healing. So let's worship him and thank him for the healing that we've received.
Children's bread, healing is our medicine. 
our food, blessed our water, and taken sickness and disease away from us. You know, it's important that we open our mouth and confess healing scriptures daily. And if you want to confess these scriptures, you want to start off with, you can get the book downstairs, God's Word for Daily Confession, that has many healing scriptures that you can put inside of your mouth and begin to speak them out. Because you're activating life to proceed into your body when you speak these healing promises. We're going to say a few of those before we listen to the word. Say, Lord Jesus, you have blessed my food and water and taken sickness away from me. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of my days in health. Jesus, I thank you because you have forgiven all my iniquities. You have healed all my diseases. You have redeemed my life from destruction. You have redeemed my life from destruction. You have satisfied my mouth with good things. You satisfied my mouth with good things. So that my youth is renewed. So that my youth is renewed. Like the eagles. Like the eagles. I shall not die. I shall not die. But I will live. But I will live. And declare the works of God. And declare the works of God. For you have satisfied me. For you have satisfied me. With long life. Father, Father, I resist the enemy. I resist the enemy in every form, in every form that he comes against me. He comes against me. I require my body, I require my body to, be strong to be strong and healthy. And, healthy. and I enforce it I enforce with, it your word. with your word. I reject the curse. I, reject the curse. I enforce life, I enforce life in, this body. in this body. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Hallelujah. Name. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for the healing power of God that is working here. And we thank you, Jesus, in working through the media, Father, healing bodies and taking away sickness and disease right now in Jesus' name. Look at somebody and say, Jehovah Rapha is our healer. Jehovah Rapha is our healer. Amen. 